number 37. Experimental determination of the solubility product of calcium hydroxide. The aims of these experiments are to determine the solubility product of calcium hydroxide experimentally and to investigate the effect of common iron, temperature and pH on the solubility of calcium hydroxide. Ionic calcium hydroxide is slightly soluble in water and at a given temperature may result in the following equilibrium. The solubility product for this reaction only depends on temperature and can be expressed as follows. Chemicals required for this experiment are calcium hydroxide, 0.1 m hydrochloric acid, 0.025 m calcium chloride solution, 0.05 m calcium chloride solution, 0.01 m, 0.1 m, and 1 m nitric acid solution. 0.025 m sodium hydroxide solution, 0.05 m sodium hydroxide solution, and distilled water. Equipments required for this experiment are pipette, burette, thermometer, watch glass, and titration flask. Also, electronic balance, burette stand. Water bath and a white tile are also required. Now let's see how the experiment is done. First, let's measure one gram of calcium hydroxide to make stock solutions. This is the measured 1 gram of calcium hydroxide. Now let's prepare the first stock solution using the measured 1 gram of calcium hydroxide and 100 milliliter of distilled water at room temperature. Since this solution contains undissolved calcium hydroxide, this is a saturated solution. Now let's wash the pipette using distilled water prior to measure 25 ml of calcium hydroxide. Now let's also wash the pipette using prepared calcium hydroxide. Now let's measure 25 ml of calcium hydroxide solution.
now let's add few drops of phenolphthalein indicator to the measured solution of calcium hydroxide at room temperature and titrate this solution against 0.1 mHCl solution. With few drops of phenolphthalein, solution turn into pink. Pink is the basic color of phenolphthalein. Now the solution has turned into a colorless solution. Burette training at this moment is the end point. Carry out the same titration twice to obtain two more readings. Now let's titrate 25 ml of calcium hydroxide solution at 50 Celsius against 0.1 mHCl solution and obtain burette reading. Now the solution has come to the end point. Record the burette reading at this point. Now let's also titrate 25 ml of calcium hydroxide solution at 90 Celsius against HCl solution. This is the end point. Record the burette reading. Now let's get 25 ml of stock solution of calcium hydroxide prepared from 0.05 m calcium chloride and titrate it against HCl and record the burette readings. This is the end point. Now let's titrate 25 ml of calcium hydroxide solution prepared from 0.025 m calcium chloride solution against HCl solution and obtain the readings.
This is the end point of the titration. Now let's titrate 25 milliliter of saturated calcium hydroxide solution prepared from 0.05 in sodium hydroxide solution against HCl to obtain burette readings. This is the end point. Now let's titrate 25 milliliter of calcium hydroxide solution which are prepared from 1 m sodium hydroxide, 0.01 m, 0.1 m and 1 m HNA3 solution against HCl solutions to obtain burette readings. These are the solutions that reach the end point. Results obtained from this experiment are included in this table. Under calculation, let's first calculate Ksp value for saturated calcium hydroxide solution at room temperature. We can calculate Ksp value of calcium hydroxide using concentration of calcium 2 plus and concentration of OH minus. Now let's calculate the solubility of calcium hydroxide when the HNO3 concentration is equal to 1 m. Since the Ksp value is constant at a given temperature, we can use previously calculated Ksp value for this calculation. We can come to the following conclusion from the results we obtained from this experiment. 